What's up, peep squad is in the building, baby. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the situation with Hazel and Masika. Like, ooh, baby, it is going down. And Masika, she is not holding back anything. She is going in. I was like, girl, would you been up in a cage for a long time? Because she was wilding. I guess she is really hurt and too through with Hazel E. Because Hazel E, you know, allegedly commented on her daughter. If that's the case, I was just like, Lord have mercy. Mercy, all that pent up anger girls too much. You're supposed to be representing out here a change. And boy, what we seen you display on this interview with Hazel and Masika. Mm -mm -mm. But Masika also throws out some truth too as well. She talks about Ray J having an intimate relationship with Hazel E. I was like, are you serious? I didn't even know that went down. I guess that was on a low low. That went by my head and I didn't even know that Ray J, you know, and Hazel E has something going on. And Masika basically is asking Ray J about his tryst with Hazel. Basically trying to down Hazel saying, oh, um, Ray J, why you do this with her? Don't you regret it? I was like, really? That's low down. But anyways, let's listen to it. I have a question for you. What's up? Do you ever regret Having sex with something so ugly. Well, um, see, <laughs> I mean, I know it was, I know it was like decades ago. Uh, yeah, it was. But like, did you ever be like, damn, I don't want to claim that? <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, um, yeah. See, okay. I, so yeah. Okay. Right. Got it. Because, yeah, sure. but as a professional, um, yeah, right. we want you guys to have a good show. We okay. want you guys to. I got you. Well, I wasn't expecting that on Sunday. <laughs> Get my shit together, but um, <laughs> and that was just too funny. But Masika, you wrong for that. You put Ray J on the spot, you down that girl, you played that out about her looks and everything else like that. Like, damn, that was a hit to the blow. But Ray J didn't know what to do. He was like, I'm trying to be professional. You hit me with this question, I don't know what to do. So, we're definitely going to be reviewing this, you know, um, sit down between Masika and uh, Massacre, and um, Hazel. So let's just talk about the situation. So let's get in. So I was like, that is low down, but does is, did Hazel E have relations with Ray J before TT or Tierra Marie had relations? So is that the reason why TT, Tierra Marie end up, you know, scooping up Young Bird? Is that the reason why, you know, um... Masika hooked up with Youngberg after Hazel E. So did Miss T.T. Maria, T. Aaron Marie, Miss T.T., you know, our girl T.T., you know, holding it down, you know, keep your head up. So did she get with the hit maker, a.k.a. Youngberg, because Hazel E. betrayed her and got with Ray J? Or, you know, what was going on with that situation? Was T.T. before, you know, um... Hazel E slept with Ray J or was it afterwards? And that's why TT got her revenge and got with Young Bird, baby. I was like, Lord have mercy. Ooh, when it rains, it pours. And yes, Masika, she was at Masika, she was out here acting up. She was acting a, a pure plum fool on TV. I guess it is what it is. I was like, damn, you was doing so good, Masika. You was doing so good. You was doing Black Life Matter. You was teaching people how to vote, how to eat. You was holding it down. But I guess Hazel E brings out the worst in you where you just went plum fool. I was like, damn, like what's really going on with this situation? So let's just get into it and talk about it real quick. So we have Hazel E and basically she's talking to Ray J and she's just telling Ray J like, you know, she wants to sit down. She said, there's a bigger picture. Masika got so much to focus on. She don't need to worry about me. But you know what? I want to sit down and have this conversation with her. Blase the third. Ray J is just looking like we're going to make some money. And then we have... Um, Hazel E talking to her best friend or her friend that was there with her and also was there after the incident went down between Ma Masika and, you know, Hazel E with the police was calling allegedly, you know, somebody snatched Masika's, you know, wig, you know what I mean? So she's talking to her friend basically saying that she's not here for the shit or whatever the case may be, but she's going to hold it down and do it exactly what she needs to do and she don't want the disrespect and then her, and then you see a lady that looks just, they don't show her face, but she's walking away with Masika's wig. She got her wig in her hand. She's kind of thickums, and that looks like this lady right here. Short hair, 
You know what I mean? And then she's walking away with the wig. So somebody got their wig, wig snatched. And it was definitely Masika. But who did it? Was it Hazel E or was it her best friend that snatched the wig? Somebody snatched the wig because they walked out the room with the wig. Unless this is one of the producers. But I don't think the producers would have on army pants and a shirt like that and necklace. You know what I mean? Especially when you're dealing with a situation where it can go ham. So I'm thinking, you know, this lady <laughs> is Hazel E's friend. It is what it is. So... Mm, mm, mm. And she was out there recording too as well. And she did get questioned by the police or whatever the case may be. You know, allegedly, Masika, you know, she broke her finger. Or something happened with her finger. Something went down with that situation. But this lady, as she's talking to Hazel E, she said, you know, Masika needs to get what she deserves and blase the third. She was pissed at her. I don't even know who she is, but she is mad at Masika. I was like, mm. I guess it is what it is. Then Masika, she talks to Ray J, and basically she's having a conversation with him. And this is where she asks Ray J, you know, do you regret having intimate relationship with Hazel E? You know, somebody so ugly. I was like, damn, another woman doing that to to another woman, basically down on her and basically saying that she's an ugly woman and you went to bed with her. Really is cold-blooded, but I guess it is what it is between the ladies. And you guys know that they- All the police assholes. And you want to be preaching that you all Black Lives Matter and handle it and this and this and that. You out here calling the police. You got me tied up on set for like, I don't even know how many hours at this point. You feel me? This shit is crazy. You snap. That she was backed up. She was backing up. And Hazel, and Hazel E is talking plenty of shit. Hazel E basically says she wants to give. Hazel E wasn't talking like shit like that. She wasn't talking like down and dirty and nasty. It was, you know, Massica talking, uh, Massica talking like crazy. And basically she said that she's going to give Hazel E a chance to apologize to her for what she said about her daughter. And I believe that, you know, she's still holding on to it like, damn, sometimes you got to let shit go. Words, words don't hurt. You know, sticks and stone might break my bones, but words will never hurt. But I guess... It is what it is. It's been years now, unless it was recently. But like the the anger that Masika has is just like yo yo, it's way too deep. So now they're trying to sit down and have a conversation and everything else like that. Hazel E looks good. You know she looks all right. You know it's not the best dress. It's too tight. Whatever the case may be. But the gloves, the print on the dress looks nice. Her shoes look nice too as well. Even though you know she just had a baby, so therefore she still got some baby weight. And you know. Masika, she done already had her baby and she's been working out and she's on all types of diets. You can see it on her Instagram, Blase the Third. So it already starts off rocky. So, uh, <laughs> so I was just like, oh my goodness. And you know, um, Masika basically she said everything about Hazel E. If you Hazel E on paper sounds so pretty, but in real life she is ugly. I was like, damn. She's I'm gonna give her a chance to apologize for talking about my child. So they sit down here and they go toe to toe, whatever the case may be, and they're having a conversation. And it just get it just get worse, you know. And Hazel E says what everyone got going on. Especially what you got going on. You got so much more to focus on than me. So basically, Hazel E was like, yo, you got so much going on. You know, so much has happened with you. And also, you just lost your job. You unemployed. So, like, why are you worried about something that happened so long ago? And, you know, not being a poly... Not, not not even apologizing to saying like, yo, listen, I said some shit about you and your child back in the day or recently, my bad, because now I'm my mother and I can understand how you feel. Maybe it would have went a different way, but I don't know. It just seemed like, you know, Masika, you know, she was on high alert, high level. I don't know what she had in her system, but the anger that she displayed was just like crazy. Like, girl, you that mad? You that upset? Like, for real? Like, you gonna run? You gonna just go crazy? Like, somebody done... Di <clears throat> I mean, she went, she, it was just too much. Either it's bad acting or something in the system, baby. But it is what it is. I was like, and so then Masika, she turns around. She was like, oh, congratulations on your pregnancy. How far along are you? Knowing that Masika knows that this girl ain't pregnant no more. She done been having her baby. She done have special after special on Instagram about her baby and that situation. And so, you know, Masika's being shady, you know, shaming her for being fat. Or shaming for her, shaming her for being, you know, overweight when, you know, 
which is shady in, in itself. So they was both throwing shade. It was just somebody's shade was stronger than the other person's shade. And somebody's shade hit harder. And it seems like Masika's shade hit harder. But whatever Hazel E said just really got under Masika's skin. And she just jumped up and she was acting like she's been caged for a long time. Like she was the eye of the tiger. She was a tiger, baby. And she just saw some fresh meat and she was going for it. I was like, Lord have mercy. What's really going on with this situation? And so she congratulates Hazel E on being pregnant. And so, you know, and Hazel E was like, you know, I'm not pregnant, basically. And so Hazel E goes, you know, you shouldn't even be worried about me. And whether I'm pregnant, how far along I am, you don't even have a job. Basically, you unemployed. And Hazel E goes, I did not come for you. I did not go in your comment section. I did not say anything. Uh, about your daughter so basically hazel e is saying i didn't talk about your daughter i didn't say crap about your daughter so what you talking about and then you know masika she gets upset masika's getting mad she's getting upset and then hazel e turns around and say something because you know this is edited so hazel e turned around and say something to you know masika basically saying um your daughter has so much to look up to. So Hazel E said, your daughter has so much to look up to. And then that's when Masika, she jumped out of her chair. She threw her glass. But, you know, the way that Masika threw, Masika threw her glass, you know what I'm saying? At Hazel E, I don't know if it was plastic or whatever the case may be. Because Ray J and everybody at this network should know, you should use plastic silverware and plastic glasses and cups and champagne cups around these ladies. But she threw it at Hazel E. But the way that she threw it, you can tell that she wanted to miss it. She directly wanted to hit Hazel E. She could have. But she, to me, I believe she missed on purpose. Because she was too close not, you know, not to, you know, get the target. But she missed or whatever. And so then she's running towards, you know, um... Hazel E. Hazel E didn't get up out of the chair because Hazel E couldn't get up and move fast enough. She couldn't move that chair. She couldn't do nothing. You know, I would have moved that chair and had that chair as my as my shield, baby. I would have been up. <laughs> I would have... <laughs> So, anyways, with that situation, Hazel E couldn't move fast enough. She couldn't do anything fast enough. And if Masika wanted to really do any damage, uh, maybe Masika couldn't walk fast enough because them shoes that she got on. But she goes towards Hazel E after she throws that glass. Hazel E puts her hands up and close her eyes and smile. Girl, what's going on, Hazel E? Like, what are you doing? Are you guys playing games with us? What's going on with this situation? Masika, you could have made it over there quick enough to do what you need to do hazel e you had enough time i don't give a freak how much you got carrying on you you could have jumped up real quick and charged with your forehead like come on what's going on with this situation i don't know what's happening but this you know even though some of this stuff is edited this looks like some pure bu bullshit for real for real but we will see because we will be reviewing their little sit down too as well and then masika gets up and she calls hazel e baby a bastard i don't know what hazel e said about masika's daughter but calling that boy calling her son or daughter a i don't know um I think, I think Hazel E had a boy. Calling him a bastard is really disrespectful. And like you being a mother, why would you say that about a child too as well? I don't care how mad you are at Hazel E. Like you guys ain't on the street. You guys are actually filming for a network. You know what I'm saying? And so the Hazel E was like, my baby ain't a bastard. I'm married. So congratulations to Hazel E. I didn't know her and Devon was going to get married. So does that mean that contract that Devon has with you still exists? So Hazel E and Devon are married. Congratulations. And, you know, um, once she said that, um, Masika was like, oh, you married to a girl, you married to a woman, you married to a man that you got to pay for, you know, p the possibility of paying for it. Yeah, she's married to a man that she's taking care of until he can actually get on his feet, baby. And that's why she got them contracts. So Masika is just saying all types of crazy stuff. She's just going below the belt, up the belt, down the belt, around the belt. She's talking about, I'm going to do this to you, I'm going to do that to you. Like, she's going in. Like, she is so full of anger and like like she's doing way too much if she's overacting it's too much but almost like maybe she has something in her system because she was just going she was just doing way too much and hazel e was calm cool and relaxed and throwing her shade here and there 
But Masika is the one that took it to a whole new violent level because she done threw a drink. She threatened, her, she threatened to hurt that girl. She threatened to do this to that girl. And then at the end of the day, Masika ended up getting her wig pulled. She was being hold, carried back to tell her to chill out. Like, damn, you can't sit and have a conversation, Masika. Like, you want to represent these organizations. And these organizations do need a big face or somebody that do have a huge platform to, you know, help bring awareness to what's going on in this world with trafficking. But to have you represent it you know it could bring backlash to any organization like the rose organization which what you did with the fans only crap and pretending like you was kidnapped and all that other good stuff you know she had to come out and say i i wasn't appointed but at the end of the day the rose organization um i think her name is irene rivera i mean tony rivera basically she said that she forgives masika and she doesn't have no hard feelings towards her so it is what it is and so hazel is talking like little shade she's throwing little shade like what you talking about you were disappointed in yourself masika you're disappointed in your life you're disappointed in who you are and where you are in life today like shade like that masika was just going just crazy like she couldn't control herself but hazel e can't get under your skin but like that and they used to be friends long time ago and you could tell that they ain't gonna never be friends again and masika's just going and she's calling her all types of names she's been very she's being very childlike too as well and i guess that wig wasn't glued on strong enough because it came right off her head and it is what it is you guys tell me what you think we will be reviewing this show tonight and also we will be reviewing real housewives of potomac get that catch that thank you